Hi everybody, we just got word that the system is installing Mosul on all the student iPads today. That means that all the students are going to have access to the same manager app we have, but not really, not quite. They don't get to do all the cool things. I will show you today what they get to do, and I'm also going to show you today what added benefits we get from having Mosul installed on their iPads. Now, I want to remind you that Mosul on your iPad is listed as Manager. That's what we call it. You can see it right here. So I'm going to take and open my Mosul app, and the new things that you're going to get. First off, in the top right-hand corner, you see Class Feed. Class Feed is a discussion feed. And when you open that up, anybody in the class can see the comments and replies to everybody else. Uh, it's, um, we have multiple different ways that we can do this. This is just one more option we have to do a discussion. Personally, in here, I think it would be better for us to do it with Canvas since Canvas is our learning management system, but it's an option here as well. The class feed does give you the power to delete comments that a student makes inappropriately, but um, like I said, we got several sources to do that, so that in and of itself is not a big gain to us. Some big gains we do have, though, first off is the heads up option, and when you click on the heads up, that is basically taking and locking the student iPads. The um, you can even put a customized message into it so that the students all see your own personal customized message when you put the heads up on. However, my experience so far with Mosul is that it's not super quick, so it takes a little bit to filter through all the iPads. Maybe that's going to be better when the students get Mosul put on their devices. I'm not sure. If it does get better, then this could be another big gain for us. Although, if you remember, going into Google Classroom, we have the same option. Of, let me end that. Um, we have the same option of using the lock function on our iPads up here to lock a student's screen as well. Now, of course, mine zoned out right now because I don't have anybody in that class to lock. Now, the next option that you gain when the students get Mosul on, and this one I do really like, this is the quick poll option. And with the quick poll option, you can take and start a question. And I'm not actually in a class, so let me go back into a actual class. Whoops. So let's go ahead and I'm going to turn off all of my things so it's not going to affect my students' um, devices. And I'm going to start that class real quick. And from there, when we hit the quick poll, you can see you have a place that you can put in a question. You can have students give you a short answer or you can have multiple choice options for the students as well. So these are some quick little things. Another way that we can throw out, back in the old day when I first started, they were referred to as the clickers. We had them in my class for the Quizdom remotes. But it's another way for you to throw out for students to respond to a question and get instant feedback from them. Now, those are the things you have gained. The question is, what have the students gained out of it? Well, if you take and look at the very top right, you see that little spot that says self-service? That is the only thing the students get. And when you click on self-service and you click on my apps, it's going to show you all the apps that were installed on our iPads by the school system. The students, when they open Manager, it goes straight to what you see here. All they see is a list of apps that were installed on their system. That way, if a student takes and deletes one of their programs, like I was told by one of my neighbors yesterday that a child said that their email wasn't working, so they just deleted the entire icon for the email, and then they had to get it reinstalled. That's not going to be a problem with Mosul. With Mosul, all they have to do is go back to the section, find that mail client, which was Outlook, which is shockingly enough not showing here. Um, they might not have had. They might not have added to the list yet. But um, nope, there it is. There's Outlook, and you can just click to reinstall that, and then Outlook boop 
appears right back on their devices. So this is a way that both you and them can reinstall anything they delete. That's it. That's what you are gaining when the students get um, Moe's will put on their computers. Other, if you have any other questions about it, just give me a holler.